haven't said this in a couple of weeks. Outnumbered overtime. OT, baby! Yeah, <laughs> baby! <laughs> there she is. Oh, that came out of my shoes, I think. <laughs> Been, Great to I've have you it. back, Miss Harris Faulkner. I so appreciate Bottle it. Bottled up yes. from viewers online yes. as well. Oh, Everybody it's... missed you. People kept tweeting me, where's Harris? Where's Harris? I was like, she's coming back. Thank coming you. back Monday. Uh, we did, we're getting an amazing plant that all of you sent me from the show. Oh, good. It was like the biggest thing. It was so gorgeous. Okay. And uh, my dad looked and he said, wow, it's like a small child. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so beautiful in the card. And I just thank but you to your, I love you so much. To your beautiful mother's credit, when we called down there they were so overwhelmed with floral arrangements for, for from people calling in that couldn't be there that they ran out of flowers I know. and that's I amazing. said well you know what plants are a beautiful thing too because a family member could then take it home and yeah, yeah that's right my dad did. and he loved long. it he loved it that's Good, the, and it's you. also the regeneration you see yeah. you know yeah. it's it, there's something yes. very beautiful about that it's a very appropriate Gift. We're yes. glad to have you back. Also, you. Harris, so do you much. like a cactus on occasion? Because I, I do. <laughs> no, she's. I'm from Arizona. Oh, yes. I know, I she do. has a house in Tucson, and she she lives yes. in Arizona too. And I really actually appreciate cactuses. As I guests. do too. They're I fun, think they're yeah. wonderful Me when too. they flower in the winter. Yes. Time, those desert blooms. They're mm -hmm. beautiful. So it's it's good to be back. And as I I look down at the live chat, um, you guys, wow, look at that. That's got to be close to a, a record. What did you say? <laughs> it's got to uh, be you. I, I think it was the, the We did discussion. jump up about a thousand after you said we'd be talking. <laughs> I know. I'm like, wow. It was, it was just a tease. I want to talk about the preemption doctrine some more. See if you that do? goes. No, I don't. Yeah, know. okay. <laughs> um, actually, no, you said you're going to be talking about marijuana. So can I ask you an honest question, though, just along those regards? Where do you think we're going in this country with, with the weed? And where do you think the current president-elect stands? Well, I don't know that he said anything about it. I think uh, uh, Senator Sessions, uh, the nominee to be attorney general, does have a very strong view on the subject. And I think if he's confirmed, he's going to go ahead on it. My, my own view is uh, I'm against legalization of marijuana. And uh, I think it's a very different drug than it was when the baby boomers were in college. And uh, it was it was dangerous then. And uh, and I think it is today. So I, I now turn the floor over to Kennedy. Well, Here we go. There, there are a couple things. Um, number one you're not going to put the toothpaste back in the tube. Yeah. You're not going to put the water back in the bong. You're not going to put the horse back in the barn. The and, wow. But there's What's a reason there? that 28 states and the District of Columbia have chosen, these voters have chosen, to make marijuana legal, at least medical marijuana, because a lot of people, myself included, I have family members who have suffered from cancer and the effects of chemotherapy. And when you are given steroids to protect the tissues and organs in your body from the harm from chemo, there's almost nothing they can put in you to stem the pain and allow you to sleep and I know so many people who have been helped through things like hash and hash oil and and medical marijuana where you know there's not a high THC component but they are given some sweet Look, relief. There, there, may, there may be an argument on the medical issue but I tell you if you walk down the main street in Denver Colorado mm -hmm. either the entire state is sick or something else is going on and and I think we all know that something else is going on and that's where we're going to have to redraw the line. And do you know that marijuana use has actually gone down among high school students since they made marijuana legal? Uh, that could be or might not be. No, that is, I, that I, is I, how I, is I would that not say that and surveys of illegal activity are necessarily giving well, you a high that, confidence. Well, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's no longer a legal activity. And, and there are people I, who... Can I be the bridge between you two? Because obviously, you know, foreign policy-wise, I worship at the altar of Ambassador Bolton, but I actually am for But it comes to marijuana. When it comes to marijuana, I agree with Kennedy. The, and do you know when my mind was changed? When I lived in Los Angeles and I would go to dinner parties in L.A. and people smoked weed the way people drink wine in this city. I've Ooh. never seen anything like it. And I was like, if people are going to be doing this, tax reasons alone, economically alone, if this many people are going to be doing it, you might as well make it legal. And my mind was completely changed by living on the West Coast. Yeah, and you would you would destroy that tax can, base can in I places like question? Colorado, Washington, and Oregon, where now they do have a new legal revenue stream, a majority of Americans. And they do this polling year after year, quarter after quarter. And for the first time last year, a majority of Americans, and that that number is only growing. Agree that Americans should be able to make their own choices. And, you know, it would be fine if I went also, over to Del Frisco's and had four martinis. But can I say one thing? Also, the argument that... Well, that's that, not fine uh, either for you to get behind the wheel. I was <laughs> we'll my point. The, the argument that a young a young person that's getting caught with some marijuana on them would go to jail for whatever, I don't, I don't know the amount of time, but years, oh, to me, never seemed <gasps> fair. Yeah. 
Yeah, so, but, al- but my almost, mind was changed. That, that, so. that happens to almost nobody. And the fact is, <laughs> the international drug, drug cartels uh, use this as part of their supply chain. And, uh, and I do think there's an argument about marijuana being a gateway drug. But, but, I, but my feeling is that whatever opinion is now, we're now going to have a discussion on it. Barack Obama has been absent and indeed he, has, he was actually very bad on marijuana. Well, that's because he smoked it years. and we all know he did. No, he, actually, he was very bad he about raiding dispensaries and farms in California where Wasn't it was that legal the, using that, that federal statute. And, you know, I, I have to say, He's actually, you're, you're wrong it. about the international drug trade. Because if marijuana is legal here and people can grow it here, the reason that it came over the border and so many lives were lost and billions of dollars wasted is because there was a market for it here. It was a black market. It was illegal. And so you have to get it from illegal sources like the Golden Triangle in Mexico. Yeah, right. but that's an argument that proves too much because there's no end to what you legal next. Okay, yes, so let's and? jump in with some viewer comments because, okay, I wasn't okay. kidding. We jumped up 1,500 people when we mentioned yeah, he, this conversation. I thought there were photos. Um, there's a lot of people chiming in, Ambassador Bolton, that they absolutely love you and they would love to see you as Secretary of State, but they also don't want to lose you in this capacity. So, oh, well, that's um, very kind of. But it's really fun to have you. Harris, you're probably seeing everybody's weighing in on the conversation. So they don't joke yeah. around when they say marijuana. I think that's how we're going to find out, though. I think one day all of these shows are going to try and book the ambassador, including my show, and uh, we're not going to get a call back. Uh, and that's when we'll know. That's when we'll know. Um, I do want to talk more about this marijuana issue, though, because it is, no pun intended, lighting up the live chat. Um, People, it is a very hot issue. Well, I, I think because it's tied now to this medical issue, and we have so many people in this country who are touched by the disease of cancer, which brings so much pain. And so I do understand that there are two levels of looking at this. There's the recreational level and then the medical level. But when it comes to a tax base, whatever it takes, now these states, if you, again, will forgive the way I'll put it, are addicted to that tax revenue. Yeah, that's absolutely and, right. And it's going to be difficult to roll that back. Boy, I have a lot of these. Um, <laughs> but I would ask this because I really don't know, what kinds of studies have been done that look at the effects of marijuana? Very few. Do you know why? There's only (laughs) one research facility in the United States that's allowed to do research on marijuana. One. It is in Mississippi because the federal government is so prohibitive. So this way, if Ambassador Bolton is right, and let's say marijuana is so toxic and so powerful now, we can't do the But it is different than the drug that was 40 to 50 years ago. That much we know. We know it has a certain potency. What part? the marijuana today is very different from marijuana I in the 60s. I think everything. I think vitamins are different. I think alcohol Things is just different. Have more I think painkillers are different. But I think the, there are. Argument, I think cancer drugs are different. Absolutely, and that is that is the natural evolution. The argument that I understand, though, is it's the addition of edibles and and you know I I don't smoke pot, so I don't have no idea. But, uh, but putting it in food form and candy form, that the people don't necessarily know the dosage they're getting in that. I just remember reading Maureen Dowd's column when she talked about how Which she was ate an the edible. Most ridiculous and hysterical thing in but the world. She, she, I mean, in that, she, uh, she hallucinated. She was having a meltdown in her hotel room. And that, to me, you know, from... She the also combined of- marijuana with alcohol, was told to eat a quarter of the candy bar and decided to eat the whole thing. So she's a very impatient I'll, I'll eat a lot of sugar. <laughs> it doesn't take much of anything. What's happening on Facebook? <laughs> I mean... Weird segue. Okay. Um... Everybody has an opinion on this quite clearly. It's a big issue. Um, Ambassador, you it have says, to come on my show so we can talk about this. This would be insane. Let's do a whole uh, hour. Well, 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 I love well, how Facebook Live, how they have the bubbles. Discussion. That means I people are saying, the whole what, what are thing they saying? So okay, down. so, um, okay, so it goes so fast. I know, it's jumping. It. Just like alcohol, marijuana should be legalized so it can be controlled and taxed. Carlton Sumner says this. Megan's point. Um, it, for re- Cyrus Carter says, economic. I hate weed. I hate smoke of all types. Medicinal use is fine, but it should be restricted to home use. Because obviously but we've already gotten rid of it. Right. And that is the case in some to, states. To come back to reality here, what, whatever the arguments for legitimate medical use of marijuana. That's not what's happening. This is not really an argument about medical use. This is about because how we easy... Because we research it and we don't know. No, 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 okay, no, well, no. Okay. For pain relief, that's one thing, okay? But but what we're talking about here is people who have a headache and get a prescription for marijuana. Yeah. I mean, it is not strictly... It, it really is a backdoor way for personal use, and I just think people ought to be honest about it. Okay. That's, that's why the opposition uh, has demonstrated itself in campaigns in a number of states. The because, opposition is, because is the alcohol 
alcohol and tobacco industry. All right, go. Well, I was going to say thank you to Ambassador Bolton for his time. Oh, and gosh, we have to leave? Uh, by the way, somebody right. asked it at night when your kids want to stay up later, do they say, no, 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 mommy, OT, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Liam says, I am still disappointed Bolton is not on the Supreme Court. Mm. Oh. Great to have you. There's Thank an you, alternative sir. path ahead. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.